I put it into writing. It's the only one out there. Where are the rest of these great ideas? It's a hard sell, but House Rep Noel Campbell says a temporary one cent sales tax will raise more than $800 million for public schools. Fund teacher salaries, give money to education for the schools, the, pro the things that they need in the schools. It would fund education for our construction industry, JTEDs. Governor Ducey is strengthening our public schools without raising taxes. A new tax is a bold proposal, considering a new political ad touting the governor's efforts to pay teachers without raising taxes. Well, that's the governor. He says a lot of things. and. Uh, you know, let's put it to him. Democrats spoke out against Campbell's proposal today on the House floor, saying it will hurt lower income communities. The teachers are gonna end up paying for their own raise, and that's my worry with it. The answer, Representative Charlene Fernandez says, is a mixed bag of funding sources, including changing the way school tax credits are divvied up. In the past 10 years, we spent over a billion dollars in, in tax credits for private schools, and we owe our schools over a billion dollars, you kind of think that if you stop one, the other one's going to benefit. Campbell's plan would require a two-thirds majority vote. Even if that's unlikely, the proposal has seemingly sparked new conversation on funding solutions. Together, we could address this right now.